Hello, and welcome to Metro Arts. I am your host, Larry Wallace. Here on Metro Arts, we highlight some of the best in the business, from fine artists, photographers, and performing artists, to cinematographers and musical artists, all from the Metro Detroit area. On today's show, we'll feature the performance poetry of Joel Fluent Green. In our checking in segment, we'll talk to Nancy Forkowski of Motor City Youth Theater, and singer, songwriter, Sharon C. and her band will perform in studio. <laughs> Now let's welcome Joe Flew and Green to Wayne State and Metro Arts Detroit. Hey Joe, how's it going? Hey Larry, how you doing? Pretty good. I'm doing good. pretty good. good. So you are a poet who yep. performs his own work. Yep. Tell me how did you get involved in the Detroit poetry scene? Ooh, well, I started about 20 years ago. Um, I was a young dude, not a whole lot of direction, had to find mm -hmm. my way in life. Uh, so I, I found a place called Cafe Mahogany. They used mm -hmm. to be downtown. Um, that's how I started. Um, Zaina, who owns Spectacles Clothing Store downtown, was the one that hired me. I did mahogany for about, actually I first started coming as a, as a, a poet, let me rewind a little bit. So they had open mic every Tuesday, um, and I would pay my five bucks cover charge to get in, and after a while I was asked to be the host. So I did it for about wow. three years. Now here I am, all these years later, promoting my own events, uh, producing them, hosting, performing, all around the city, around the country, and I love it, mm -hmm. yeah. So you mentioned Cafe Mahogany. Yes. Yeah. Can you kind of tell us what's the mission of that? Oh, well, well, the mission right now is to keep the name going. You know, mm -hmm. Detroit, we deserve something legendary and something with a, a distinct name. Like New York, New, in New York, they have the New Eurekan Cafe, you know, and in Atlanta, they have the Apache Cafe. These are yes. signature places that you can go to to hear poetry. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Mahogany closed in 2000. Okay. So I like to keep the name going, you know, all these years later because we deserve that here in the city, something that we can treat with pride. So monthly I do an event called Mahogany at the Museum. Mm -hmm. This takes place at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American okay. History. Um, and we run uh, now from February all the way till July. Oh, so wow. we have a full like, you know, six, seven months or whatever. Right. It's a great time, man. Um, we bring in local acts, uh, mm -hmm. nationally, internationally known acts, uh, bands, DJs. Uh, I like to show love to the community here in the cities. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's the point, just to keep that vibe going, because back then, Mahogany gave me a platform. So right. like young cats like you, I like to keep it going and mm -hmm. show love and, and really support the upcoming you know, poetry mm -hmm. and artistic community in our cities. So mm -hmm. It's important. So today, you'll be performing with Sawande. Yeah. Tell us briefly, how did that collaboration start? Oh, man, I love Sawande. That's my brother. So I probably, I was just asking him before we started, how did we even meet in the first place? It seemed like we always known each other, but I mean, Sawande is just a spiritually cool person, good brother. He comes from a lineage and a family of, of cats with that rhythm. And um, I think we met at the Jazz Cafe at the Music Hall. So Joe, how can we find out more information about your work? Ah, I have a website, uh, joelfluentgreen.com, J-O-E-L-F-L-U-E-N-T-G-R-E-E-N-E.com. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joel, so much for Thanks being for here today. Me, it was so nice talking to you. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you, Larry. You're watching Metro Art, produced at the Midtown Studio at Wayne State University. What's up, Metro Arts? My name is Joel Fluent Green, poet, event producer, host, all that good stuff. I am here with my homeboy, Sawande Kita. Clack, clack. African percussion. We're going to have a little fun. I'm going to do a poem first, a cappella called Women Folk. And then I'll do one second with my homeboy, Sawande. That's cool. Here we go. This is called Women Folk. I hope you guys love it, like it, all that good stuff. All right. The clicking of heels, the distraction of cleavage, the smacking of lips, the glossing of lips, the rolling of eyes, the gentle of hands, the lightness of touch, the softness of voice, the stay down of seats, and the plug-in of heat, and the leaving of those plug-ins, and the straighten of sheets, and the pillows, the pillows, the pillows, the friggin' pillows, and the pressing of hair, the wrapping of hair, the showboating of hair, the twisting of hair, the adding of hair, the cutting of hair, the regretting of hair, the accepting of hair, the saying, yo, it's just hair, the simply wearing of that hair, and the going of back, and the coming of forth, and the weary of sighs, and the juicy of thighs, and the smoothness of skin, the leaving of essence, the linger of scent, ha! the focus of will, the setting of boundaries, the meeting of goals, the birthing of life, the nurture of life, the bonding of like, the sweetness of breath, ha! the switching of look, the slickness of queries, the questions of questions, the overplaying of sexy, the downplaying of substance, the leaving of scent, the linger of essence, the placing of items, the underlying of message, the meaning of no, the saying of yes, the asking of favors, the dishing of kindness, the doing of too much, the giving of self, the over of extending, the bending of back, the arching of back, the starting of sh, the ending of stress, the giving of self, the giving of self, 
the giving of self, women folk. Thank you. Want to have some fun? Yeah. So we're going to have a little fun. Uh, I love to write about Detroit. My favorite topic of all time is always Detroit. I will always write poems about this beautiful, wonderful, great city we live in. Uh, this is Untitled, and it's for Detroit. Hope you guys dig it. Yeah. So this is my city. If it's my city, then my main concern is keeping. So I have to earn a living. And my living's for the words that give that most comfort, make that ghost come forth, baptize me in my blood sport. Yeah, it's serious. Ha! I'm a gladiator. I'm a rainmaker. Over paved, over plains. See, I've been standing on paved over smiles that scream under concrete, bubble through cracks over drum beats. I speak over tricky terrain just to heal some hearts. Just to find my name, maybe make a little money, but come up with change. It's to have a life, but no life if it don't evolve. Rites of passages, my initiation into Dunbar, Dunbar, Dunbar Nation. Ha! Giving out scrolls, but they hungry and impatient. They don't want scrolls, they want jobs, they want goals, they want to get that money. Brother, come out that change. See, in Detroit, we pass that bucket sometimes, that bucket passed me by. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't had that change. But I had that paper, scribble, scrabble, good intentions, dibble, dabbled in the aforementioned. Ha! They gotta go somewhere where they heal your heart, justify your name. Yeah. See, when I'm on the list of many like minds that came and perfect people, so quick to judge. So you gotta be, wait, too sick to budge. Misfit, broken Charlie in a box car, Detroit Mish, crank out that shh. Press hard, hold shift, be his balls out as them ball points. Ha! Keyed in as them key strokes be about that. Hey. You can make that money, give out some change, even if it's just enough to give out some change. My son Gabriel's mom named him Gabriel after Marquez, so it's nothing when he says something poetic, but it's something because he said something poetic. Poetry is everything, it's going off subject. If they don't agree, judge their poetry. If they judge you for whatever human instincts, go make some money, give out that change, go make some money. Give out that change, even if it's just enough to give out some change. Even if it's just enough to give out some change. Even if it's just enough to give out some change. I love my city, y'all. It's got big houses. It's got small houses. It's got pretty lawns. It's got some not so pretty lawns. It's got a corner stove. It's got a corner church. With them bright suits praying till they knees hurt. That view from Belle Isle. Just go right until you see that long bridge frown. And at the right time, you might see the sunlight smile on the Detroit River. I'm a Detroit sinner. God save us all. I'm so afraid I'll fall. These brothers can't resolve without letting off. Clack. It's Detroit versus the devil. Detroit stand up. Real love in the hour of. What, what word? I love my city, though. It's so beautiful. If you ain't from here, then you should come here. And if you're from here, then you should love here. We share blood here. I love my city, y'all. I love my city, y'all. Ha, ha, ha. I love my city, y'all. Ha. Thank you. In our checking in segment, let's welcome Nancy Frakowski back to Metro Arts Detroit. Hey, Nancy, how's it going? I'm fine. How are you, Larry? Pretty good. Now, good. it's been a while since you've been on Metro Arts Detroit season two. Um, tell us a little bit of what Motor City Youth Theater is all about. Okay, Motor City Youth Theater is a theater for children, and it's worked mostly by the children. They do the behind the scenes work, they do the on stage work. Um, we have expanded to allow parents, but our motto is kids come first. So if we don't have time to do a production, the kids' production goes and the adults is the one that drops. Um, and we've been doing this for many, many years. We accept kids ages seven through high school, oh, wow. sometimes even younger kids. Wow. And wow. They, do, they do plays, workshops. They perform for people in nursing homes. Mm -hmm. That yeah. is amazing. So you hold two titles with the theater. One is artistic director, and you're also the co-founder. Tell us how did the theater come about? Okay, in 1990, I was working on a master's degree program for children's theater, and as part of my degree, I created Motor City Youth Theater. My husband, Fred, helped me do that. We studied different youth theaters, and we really tried to base it on the Flint Youth Theater, because that was, it's a remarkable 
uh -huh. of organization. It's a great place. Um, and then we just went from there, and we, we just grew in 26 years. We just kept doing the same thing and getting better and better. It's been a while since you've been here. Tell us what's new, what's happening with the theater. Okay, we've gone back to Shakespeare quite a bit. We started in 2005 using adults as the actors, and the kids were just the fairies or small, small characters. Mm -hmm. But now it's basically a children's production. And our kids are mostly middle school kids who are mm -hmm. attracted to this, and they work for 100 hours before producing their, or showing their production to the public. Mm -hmm. So last year it was The Tempest. Mm -hmm. Before that it was Midsummer Night's Dream. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. So our Metro Arts producers went on location and brought back a video. Let's watch. Nancy, this looks like a talented group of young people. What is the piece about? Well, we're, we have a number of one acts, and they're all based on fairy tales. They're mm -hmm. parodies of fairy tales, and the kids love that the most. One group's also doing The Monkey's Paw, which is serious, but it'll probably turn out being funny. Oh, Because wow. <laughs> that's kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> now, do you plan on expanding the theater to Detroit? We do want to move out there, not exactly the theater, but I'm involved in a project that's going out there. Okay. It's okay. top secret. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. it's top secret, but people will know about it when it happens. Okay, that's yeah. pretty awesome. So I recently heard that you, the Motor City Youth Theater got a generous donation. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, this is huge. We were told by our insurance company that we won't be covered by them anymore unless we get a roof before the snow flies mm -hmm. this year. So I was interviewed, this is really neat, one of our parents really persisted and got people from a local TV station to cover us. Mm -hmm. And they came out and did some video. And the minute it was aired, I got a phone call from a roofing company. Really? And this company, it's called Ethical Exteriors, mm -hmm. and they're in, Lo in South Lyon, and I, I just have to put a plug in for them because they're mm -hmm. amazing. They and um, Green, Oak, Green Oaks Gutters did all the work for free, all the labor is free. We paid for materials only. Mm -hmm. And we have a new roof. They did it in two days. Really? It's amazing. Two days. Two days. That is amazing. Yes. That's amazing. It's great. So now, now we're safe. We have a roof. The kids can keep going. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. So where could people find out more information about Motor City Youth Theater? We're all over Facebook. If you go on Facebook in the search box, you can just put in Motor City and it'll come in. It's Motor City Youth Theater and, and Grant Land Street Players or Friends of Motor City Youth Theater, Bard Bums, which is our Shakespeare group, mm -hmm. or MCYT Bard Bums. We also have a web page, www.mcyt.org. Mm -hmm. And if anybody wants to be on our mailing list, they can message me on Facebook mm -hmm. and I'll put them on our list. Well, I want to thank you so much, Nancy, for being here today. It's so awesome to have you back. Thank you, know. you so much for having me. Thank you. It's great. Thank you. You're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. And now on Metro Arts Detroit, here's Sharon C. and her band with Redemption.
was never on the ballot for homecoming queen. And the boyfriends I bragged of get to be seen. Wait all day for the sun, but the rain never Top players never had pretty names. Or they tell you it's easy, you can do as you choose. You're part of the team, just don't ever lose. Cause cheerleaders and athletes, they go. players get to play with the band. There are bands to choose and hearts to dream. There are dreams that die on the way. In the still of the evening, don't you give up the light. Let one decision Hey, Sharon, how's it going? Hey. Welcome to Metro Arts. Hey, Larry, how are you? Thanks for having us. Pretty good. So you have a full house behind mm -hmm. you. Do you want to start by introducing the members of your band? Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. So on the keys over there and mandolin, we have John Finan. On guitar, lead guitar, for both songs, we have Dwayne Allen Harlick. Back on the percussion here, we have Roberto Warren. A bass player here, my man, Mr. John Reynolds, and the lovely Miss Beverly Meyer. Awesome. Phenomenal. Okay, so tell us the story behind the song Redemption. Redemption is a song that you sort of start when you're young, like high school, <laughs> but you can't really finish until you've lived a little bit, and, mm -hmm. and that's kind of it in a nutshell. I wrote it starting on a dock, um, so the water you know, was a, a metaphor for how I used to write as a young girl. And then um, years go by, you know, life comes in, and it's sort of that um, you, know, you don't fit in too much in the early days, but you figure out your own way, and at the end of the day, it's great because you get to play. Mm -hmm. play with people and have fun make music so great great so you guys have a pretty nice debut album it's called the view from here mm -hmm. tell us what was the inspiration behind that um gosh same thing you know it was just years in the making um i started writing some of those songs and then i had a auto accident and it just it took forever to get back to it so i sort of made a pledge to myself and my kids i didn't i didn't want my music to die with me so just kept on going um, got some great support with some wonderful folks. Dwayne produced the album, so um, it just sort of grew from there. And, and it's a compilation of things, I think, that life's journey, you know, mm -hmm. from a young kid to a 
grown woman. Mm -hmm. Now, can you tell us about the next song that you guys are going to perform? Yeah, the next song is All I Want to Be. And as a musician, I think um, those of us who play in it, I hear a lot about how we, we love playing it. It's got a lot of uh, interesting timing to it. It's a little bit you know funky. It's got a little bit of a jazz vibe. So Redemption pulls out that pop folk thing. But um, All I Want to Be, I think, pulls out a little bit more of the jazz uh, influences that, that I've had over the years. Phenomenal. So tell us where could we find out more information about you? And your yeah. Band. So definitely um, the website, SharonC.com. Um, there's background information about the video shoots, about the making of the album. Uh, there's two videos up there. Um, there's there's a, some great stuff to check out there, a little bit more about me and some great links and gigs and things like that. So SharonC.com. Uh, the, the album is available there at CD Baby, and you can also check out the videos on YouTube. Thank you so much, Sharon, for being here today. Also, thank you guys for coming, too. Great. Thanks for having us. We had a great time. You're welcome. You're watching Metro Arts on Detroit Public Television. Oh
hope you enjoyed today's show. I would like to thank our guests, Joe Fluent Green with Sawande, Nancy Forkowski, and Sharon C and her band for being here today. Remember, you can catch any of our shows online at MetroArtsDetroit.com and find us on social media. I'm your host on Metro Arts, Larry Wallace, reminding you to always support the arts and cultivate the talent in your community.